video and today we're gonna to be doing a ride review on my brand new 2024 Harley Davidson Lowrider ST in that tobacco fade paint job. Absolutely beautiful. I, I, do, I don't even know where we should start but I think obviously the paint is the most important thing on this bike right now. It's, it's what makes it stand out from the rest of the Lowrider STs out there. Let's talk about this tobacco fade which is inspired by an old rock guitar. Um, so you, you, you can see those warm colors, those reddish brown tones, those yellow goldish tones all meshing together and it just it looks beautiful. I really love the way the paint goes from the fairing to the tank and to the to the bags. It's just the way it flows, the way it just looks and in the sun and most of all in person because if you're looking at this bike in pictures or in videos, it's one thing but once you see it in person, it's another animal. There's, a, there's so much, when you wouldn't even notice right now, but there's so much flake right here in the middle where the goldish brownish color is at. And as soon as the sun hits it, it just glimmers away. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, I've had this bike for a few weeks right now. I'm super, super excited about it. If you're new to my channel, just to let you know a little bit about my background before. I had a 2020 Lowrider S, which we built out on the channel. Had a lot of fun with that bike, sold it. Um, ended up on a road glide. Now I got rid of the road glide and now I'm back on here. It's a, a lot. If you want to know a little bit more about that, I posted a video a few days ago where you'll know why I traded the road glide for this low rider ST. But anyways, let's talk about this bike right here. So this low rider ST has been around since 2022. That's when Harley Davidson first came out with this model. Brand new redesigned fairing. It's supposed to be a, a homage to the FXRT fairings from the 80s. Um, so more of a modern take on that classic bike. Uh, give you that modern fairing in the front. Those modern bags in the back. And obviously on the soft tail platform right here. And new for this year, we have this tobacco fade paint job. Uh, which is an Enthusiast Collection color. So we first saw the Enthusiast Collection when it came out with the GI paint, which is all green military paint. That was really cool. We saw the Fast Johnny Enthusiast Collection last year in blue, which was really awesome. And now the Enthusiast Color Collection for this year is this Tobacco Fade. Now talking about Enthusiast Collection, gonna have that Enthusiast Collection branded right on that rear fender right here. Very subtle, looks really, really, really nice. Now let's start talking about the bike from the front to the back. So we got that fairing right here, which is gonna give you a lot of protection from the wind. This fairing being much smaller than the Road Glider Street Glide fairing does a really, really good job keeping that wind off of you when you're out there on the road. Really nice design, it, it looks retro but it looks modern, it looks futuristic at the same time, so design-wise, they definitely, definitely killed it. Now you're gonna have an LED headlight in the front, you're gonna have an LED rear light in the back. Um, the turn signals are still halogens, um, we're gonna be getting rid of those anyways, but that's what we have for right now. Um, right in the front fender, you're gonna have that HD branding on the front fender right there. It's actually a, a little Easter egg that's a guitar pick on the front fender. Nice little detail, very subtle, but so clean and, and it's just it, it just it looks really, really, really nice on that on that nice short fender right there. Now on the front you're gonna have a 19 inch wheel, in the back you're gonna have a 16. Obviously in that bronze color, the ST models are now synonymous for having these bronze color wheels. They look really, really, really nice. You're gonna have an inverted front end. Um, this bike is really, really comfortable to ride, real nimble. We'll talk about the riding portion later on in the video when we're on the bike on the road, um, but it's really, really comfortable. The Lowrider ST is gonna come with this Milwaukee 8 117 engine. Real peppy, a lot of fun, a ton of torque, a ton of horsepower. We're talking about 125 foot-pounds of torque and 103 horsepower from factory. Um, and after you play around with this thing and tune in, put a cam in and do all types of cool stuff to it, go fast parts, it's, it's, uh, it becomes a little ripper. The 117 to me is such a great platform to build off of. I mean, just from factory, the, the engine is just super torquey, um, a ton of fun, man. Just, it's, it's packing a bunch of power. Now moving our way up, we're gonna have this five gallon gas tank on this emblem right here. Probably one of my favorite parts on the bike, so special. This is a vinyl record with Harley Davidson written all over it. It's it, it's cool. You're gonna have like a, a thunderbolt on it, and it's just 1903. It's 
it's it's cool. The whole idea of this bike just being inspired by music and Harley Davidson all coming together. Um, I mean, it, rock and the Harleys are so synonymous. It's like you can't think about being on your bike riding down the road without you thinking about a rock song. And the fact that this this one here in particular has all these little details, it just it just makes it that much cooler. Um, really, really, really nice. Now, when it comes to the gas tank, like I said, it's a five-gallon gas tank. You're going to be averaging around 47 miles to the gallon. I don't know if I'm getting that. Uh, I've been kind of ripping around this bike, and I've just kind of seen the needle kind of going like this. Uh, but that's also has to do with my riding style. Um, but for the average person who's going to just have a team ride, you're going to be cruising, you, you, you should be averaging that. Um, this bike is going to come set up with this solo seat right here. So if you do want to get a two-up seat, you obviously can get that. Um, real nice and easy to do, but from factory it only comes set up for the rider. Now moving away to the back We're gonna have these beautiful clamshell bags right here I know what you guys are gonna say right now. I don't like the bike. I don't like the bags because they're uneven I don't know why the bags aren't the same size. Yeah, I wish the bags were the same size But I kind of got over that back in 2022 when I found out why one bag is shorter than the other one This bag is shorter because of the exhaust on this side now could they have gone and made them both short on both ends yeah, maybe I think that's what they should have done. Made them both the smaller size, but whatever, man. For me, that's a deal breaker. For some people, it is a deal breaker, but I really don't care about that. I really like the functionality of the bag. Real easy to use and open. To pull the lever, it opens up on this side right here. Um, no, you're not going to have as much space as you would on a road ladder street glide, um, but they do have enough space for you to pack all your stuff in there. Um, and if you want more space beyond that, then you could just get um, get a sissy bar or get a rack and just carry your extra luggage on there. But I think for the most part, they, they, they're they pretty spacious. If you're going to go on, on, on a weekend trip or even a week's worth, um, you could pack in a ton of stuff in there, guys. Now, another cool feature that I like about the bags and the bike itself is that the bags are super easy to take off. You take them off and then right away you have a different looking bike as well. So, so if you don't want to have the whole sport touring look to it, then take off the bags and now you just have the fairing, which is uh, the bike looks good without the bags or with the bags. Now, I know what you're probably wondering right now. Is this bike for me? Is this bike for you? Is this bike for whoever? Um, let me sit on the bike so I can show you how I look on it. I'm around 5'7". So, if you're around my height, a little taller, this bike is definitely for you if you're up to like around six feet or so. If you're over six feet, um, I would recommend if you are still interested in this bike, it's just going with forward controls because you're going to be a lot more comfortable. Um, it is mid controls on this bike. This is a performance more driven type of sportier cruiser. Um, so, it, it is going to have the mid controls. Um, and it's just, it, it, it all combines together with the type of rider style that you're going to do on this bike. Uh, but for you taller riders who really want it, I would highly suggest getting four controls. Um, I've, I've seen taller riders on this bike, I've gotten their feedback, and they all tell me the same thing. Yeah, I feel like a little cramped up. Them being taller, their, their knees are kind of like up here. And it's not a, you know, they're not able to enjoy their ride too much. But for us, average folks or shorter guys if you want to call me short um it's it's perfect man um as you can see right here i have a nice little fitment i feel great on it real comfortable bar setup it's also really really comfortable on here as well really really nice it's a nice comfortable bar feel from factory um obviously i'm going to be changing all this out as well but um if you just didn't want to change anything at all it's real comfortable we spoke about the fairing, we spoke about the tank, we spoke about the bags, we spoke about the 117, we spoke about the seat and the bar setup. So I think the next step is to just hit the road right now and finish talking about everything else about the bike. All right, so now that we got it outside, I wanna show you guys, I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but I don't know if you guys can see all that flake in there. Just beautiful. Just, I mean, look at that emblem. Gorgeous. 117 Brandon on the air cleaner. They're gonna have that FXLR. ST branded right there on the tank dash. You're gonna have that inverted front end right here, dual disc front brakes in the front, ABS, trash control, and forgot to mention something very important, cruise control. So th this is the, the ultimate sport touring bike right here. It has it all bundled up in a package. You have a nice fairing for wind protection, bags for your luggage, cruise control for when you're on those long miles, and then a really nice riding position. Control buttons are pretty much the same, guys, so 
or your cutoff switch on right here. Turn that on, power button. Uh, dual uh, turn signals, right turn signal, your traction control button. In this side you're gonna have your high beam, low beam, your horn button, turn signal, and then your cruise control right here. And then if you wanna surf around the gauges, you have that right there. You're gonna have this little LCD uh, gauge right here, really nice and small. Some people like it, some don't. Um, it, it works fine, even right here with the sun hitting it directly on it. I can see everything perfectly. Now in the ride portion, I kind of just wanted to cover anything and everything that you would want to know from the rider's perspective on here. So let's talk about the ergonomics first, right? So this is an upright position that you're going to have on this bike. You're going to have mid controls like I was mentioning before. So for me, the whole riding triangle, the ergonomics is very, very comfortable for me to sit on this bike around my height. Um, I feel like everything is really easy to access. The bar setup is really nice as well. Um, plenty of power from the get guys. Like I was saying before, the 117 is packing a ton of power from factory alone so for those type of you guys out there who want to get a bike and you don't want to do engine work and you kind of want a, a fast bike from from factory this is it right here the 117 definitely definitely delivers plenty of torque right there at the twist of a throttle um, and you just feel everything just keep climbing 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 as those uh rpms keep going up Transmission, really, really smooth on here as well. You're gonna have six gears. Now let's talk about suspension, because that's another thing that I really like about this bike, and believe it or not, stock suspension is really, really good on this bike. On, on my 2020 Lowrider S, I never complained about the suspension, never thought about changing it out. Um, and now this one has an improvement. So as you know, the bike does have a mono shock, uh, but you're gonna have a taller travel on this one so more of a height uh for the back you're gonna have more of a gap between that that fender and that tire right there so more travel making it more comfortable and it just soaks everything up really well even right there go any over any grooves on the road any uneven surfaces and it literally just soaks everything up i i gotta say that for harley davidson this stock suspension right here really good the suspension on my road glide it it sucked but this is this feels way much better this is also a mono shock but still bike definitely picks up man even right now we're in fifth gear and if i wanted to like give it more gas without switching gears it's there you don't have to really worry about downshifting to get all this power because it's just always there for you brakes on here are really good as well uh, like I was mentioning before dual disc front brakes they have a lot a lot of stop and power I'll tell you that now when it comes to wind protection the fairing does a really really good job keeping most of that wind off of you but I do want a taller shield because I am getting a little bit of buffeting on my helmet uh, but a taller shield will definitely fix that right away now when it comes to handling cornering the, the the bike the bike is great man the bike is great i mean especially the weight the bike comes weighing in around 721 pounds if i'm not mistaken um so that weight with the 117 it's 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 a good combination <laughs> the bike does great for cornerings and turns and you just kind of like point it and shoot that's what you can do with this bike point it and shoot lean it over and it's it's really nimble, real comfortable. That has a lot to do with the inverted front end on the bike. Um, it, it, it just makes it feel very, very sporty. So for a cruiser, it does feel a bit more sportier. Very performance driven. That's what we're gonna say. Now, coming off the uh, bagger lineup, coming off of a uh, Rogue Glide, what I really love about this bike is that it gives me the same capabilities of being on a bagger uh, 
with a lot of power, less weight, and I still have my capabilities of keeping the wind off of me, having the luggage on the bags, and I have more of a nimble ride, more of a lighter bike, and I'm still able to do the same thing that I'm able to do on a roll glide or a street glide. That to me is like a huge plus. Plus the inverted front end and the monoshock. <laughs> so it's, it, this bike here has a lot going for it. I mean, Harley Davidson released this bike in 2022. It took everybody by surprise. I remember watching that launch video and my jaw dropped when I saw this bike just come out and I was like, what? It's just probably one of the coolest bikes that they've come out with in a long time. A long, long, long time. It's a very, very popular bike. Well designed, well thought out, well put together. I think we pretty much covered everything. We spoke about the riding, handling. We spoke about its capabilities, braking. We spoke about the 117. We spoke about the bags and the fairing. The lights. Now there's one thing that we didn't go over. That's price. Now the Lowrider ST comes priced at 23,000 and change, I believe. Um, this paint job alone though is gonna run you another $1,900. Which in my eyes, I think it's, it's pretty good because if you wanted to get this paint job somewhere else, they'll be running around $45,000 easy. So you're paying $1,900 for a really cool, sick paint job like this, very special to me is worth it especially being that these bikes are kind of limited well they they're making 2,000 of them um and no they're not numbered everybody keeps asking me well is it numbered what what's what's your number like no they're not numbered but there's 2,000 of them being made um yeah it's a, it's a special bike to have i think this is going to be one of those uh one of those bikes that will keep its value and people are going to be talking about or raving about it 10 years from now where it's like yeah remember that paint job they came out with remember that tobacco fade that was a cool paint job i think it's, it's going to be one of those bikes one of those special um pieces to talk about now i hope i was able to answer all your questions today um if i didn't then go ahead and drop your thoughts and your comments down below i'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions uh we're gonna have a ton of ton of content on this bike so if you're new to my channel you want to see some low rider sd content you're definitely in the right place we're going to be doing a ton of mods if you want to know about all the mods that i'm doing to the bike i posted a video talking about all the plans that i have for it um just fyi even after i posted that video i'm changing a lot of stuff that i i, I spoke about um yeah like I, every week i kind of have a a new idea or different parts or whatever but that that video was kind of just to give you guys the uh, an overall idea of where i wanted to take it um so a lot of things are going to change um from here till then um yeah i think uh, i think we'll leave it at that man we got what 235 miles on here i haven't been really able to ride it because it's been like 27 degrees or 30 degrees or if it's not raining it's sleeting it's yeah now i've been calling the rain twice on this bike already so we're gonna keep trying to get over this braking period pretty quick and um start doing some uh go fast parts on here for sure pretty soon um thank you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that bell button that's going to notify you anytime i upload any type of new content and like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.